On this day, another history slowly unfolds as we come to an end of the school year 2019-2020. Truly, this event signifies the culmination of another educational journey. To celebrate the many years of hard work in one's pursuit of knowledge, knowledge that will empower our students to embrace opportunities and accept challenges with a clear vision and purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, parents, and most notably our dear students, welcome to the 30th graduation and completion ceremony of Philippine School Oman with the theme Advocating and Managing Meaningful Transformation Amidst Global Challenges. As we celebrate today's significant event, we give thanks to our Lord God and offer Him this momentous occasion through an ecumenical prayer. Let us all come together in prayer. Our dear and most gracious God, you are the source of life, love, and peace. Praised be your name forever. We thank you for granting us the knowledge, talents, and skills that we have been using to succeed in this journey. Today, we are grateful to you as we celebrate the fruits of our labor and determination. As we celebrate this passage, this graduation and completion ceremony. For without you, Lord, we would have lost our focus and direction. Thank you for keeping us sturdy and of great faith, despite of what is happening around the globe. Our hearts are full with gratefulness and love for you, our Father in heaven. We lift to you, Lord, my fellow dear graduates and completers. Bless us with hope and courage as we embark with a new chapter of our lives. Walk with us as to where we want to go. Hold our hands as we do and accomplish your will. We pray for your continuous guidance and protection, especially for the children of Philippine School. May you always be present in our lives as we move to another chapter of our journey. May your loving and powerful hands keep us and guide us all the time. Keep us safe, especially this time of pandemic. May you heal those who are sick and those who need cleansing of their soul. May you always be with us as we face the challenges ahead and as we continue with our journey. We lift up everything to you, O Father. All our plans and aspirations, we put all of them onto your powerful hands who makes all things possible. All our worries and anxiety, we offer all of them to you, who washes them all away and leaves peace in our heart. Let us focus in you, our God, and always seek your assistance so we could continue to persevere in following you, our Lord Almighty. We ask all of this in your name, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Despite the difficulties the world is facing today, as we are currently standing in the midst of a global struggle, what's truly remarkable is the manifestation of patience and resilience that our students have shared. As what Janet S. Dickens once said, the wings of transformation are born of patience and struggle. It is with much pride and honor to share with you the graduation message of His Excellency Narciso T. Castaneda, the Philippine Ambassador to the Sultanate of Oman. I wish to extend my sincerest congratulations to the graduates and completers of school year 2019-2020 of the Philippine School in Oman. This school year has become a significant one due to a number of reasons. First, the Philippine School in Oman celebrates its 30th year of foundation which is an achievement in itself. Next, 
the school welcomed the first visit of the Secretary of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Philippines, the Secretary of Foreign Affairs being the co-chair of the Interagency Committee on Philippine Schools Overseas. Third, the school experienced the first visit of the Philippine Navy in Oman. Many of the students boarded and inspected the Philippine Navy ships during this historic visit and also had their options expanded to consider military careers in their future. This school year is also the first time that the students and teachers have undergone virtual education for an extended period and would also experience a vastly different style of graduation from the past. The graduates will emerge in a changed world where avoiding public spaces and social distancing are the current norm. Nobody knows how long the situation will continue, but some of its effects will be felt for quite some time. The global situation seems dire in some aspects and positive in other aspects, but the socio-economic challenges are enormous and the ability to adapt is necessary. It falls on this first generation of students of every level who have completed this school year to learn to adapt in this new world. But the graduates have the greater challenge as they must leave a familiar setting and go to higher academic institutions, perhaps in other country, even if it is our homeland, the Philippines. But a greater responsibility ensuring that the young generation survive and continue to find meaning in their existence falls on us, the leaders and managers of institutions and organizations, and most especially the teachers and parents. The challenges of the last few weeks included adjusting work schedules, work styles and settings, and ways of engaging with stakeholders. We have had to balance the need for safety with the need to live humanely and the need to continue delivering the necessary services, especially in the area of education. Teaching the younger generations the skills and values not just to become successful adults, but to become responsible citizens of the world is a noble and worthy cause. This age is blessed with the adequate technology to enable work and study from home arrangements, to hold virtual classes and meetings, and to access information and entertainment remotely. Yet, not everyone is blessed with the same access to resources, and some people's lives have really changed through the loss of jobs, economic opportunities, or the death of family members. Despite these challenges, I am hopeful that the Philippine School in Oman will continue to be the excellent educational institution it is known for, a worthy second home for its students and the source of many happy memories for its graduates, teachers, and administrators. And for completing this stage in your education, I once again congratulate all the graduates and completers as well as their supportive families. May all our lives be transformed in meaningful ways, both now and in the future. And may we all stay safe, 
healthy, and blessed. His Excellency Narciso T. Castaneda, Philippine Ambassador to the Sultanate of Oman. The Philippine School Oman is an institution that is committed in producing holistic learners with a keen leadership and a global mind. Here is Claire Marielle A. Sarsha from the grade 10 level with high honors to welcome us to this unique convocation. To the Board of Trustees headed by Mr. Akronadel, Chairman, our Principal Mrs. Herminia E. Garcia, the academic heads, faculty and staff, parents, and fellow patients. Greetings. I'd first like to thank everyone for their efforts in regards to making this online graduation possible. I know that the situation isn't entirely ideal, but even then, here we are still going despite current events. And for that, I think we can all agree that we all deserve a little celebratory pats on our backs and proudly say, hey, I survived. Well, figuratively and literally. But, you know, kidding aside, we are gathered here today to celebrate our success, that we finally are able to finish the school year 2019-2020. And I'm really, really, really glad Amidst this pandemic, this global crisis, we still found the willpower to be happy, to celebrate our achievements and successes, which is a bit ironic, isn't it? Online graduation, as they call it. It's hard to imagine that this is happening. This is really happening. But by some miracle, we are still given this opportunity together in recognition of our hard work, even in the face of adversity, we still choose, we still chose to keep on going, to never give up, which kind of reminds me of what Steve Jobs once said, sometimes life is going to hit you in the head with a brick, don't lose faith. Is going to keep on throwing the worst and heaviest objects at you. But it's up to you whether you're going to do something about it or you're just going to let it all pile on top of you. So I think we can all agree that the former seems more practical and convenient. But moving on, we've once again finished another chapter in our life and we've yet to face more. But don't let that discourage you. Don't let that scare you. Just go on, face it, and be proud. Just keep on going. And don't forget to have fun along the way. With that said, let this unfortunate turn of events not deter you from achieving even greater things in life. For it is through hardships that we may just find ourselves learning a lot, lot more. Congratulations, everyone, and welcome. Graduation is a ceremony when qualified students are conferred to an academic degree by an institution. It is the best time where our learners reap the fruits of their labor and sacrifices. It is when they pay tribute to the hardships of their parents and give honor to the teachings of their second parents, their teachers. Today is the most significant moment in every graduation ceremony. This day is about our students and what they have achieved through constant hard work, determination, and moments of creative inspiration. Mr. Chairman, upon the recommendation of the grade school teachers, 
I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation of Philippine School this school year 2019-2020, composed of 37 boys and 35 girls with a total of 72. They have satisfactorily completed the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education, Republic of the Philippines, in coordination with the International Schools Office, Ministry of Education, Sultanate of Oman, and by virtue of which, as principal of the school, I hereby petition that they be conferred their elementary diploma. By virtue of the power vested in me as chairman of the Board of Trustees, of Philippine School, Sultanate of Oman, I hereby confer upon you the corresponding elementary diploma with all the privileges and responsibilities thereto appertaining. I now confirm you graduates. Mr. Chairman, upon the recommendation of the junior high school teachers, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for completion of Philippine School this school year 2019-2020, composed of 26 males and 20 females with a total of 46. They have satisfactorily completed the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education, Republic of the Philippines, in coordination with the International Schools Office, Ministry of Education, Sultanate of Oman, and by virtue of which, as principal of the school, I hereby petition that they be conferred their junior high school certificate. By virtue of the power vested in me as Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Philippine School, Sultanate of Oman, I hereby confer upon you the corresponding Junior High School Certificate with all the privileges and responsibilities thereto appertaining. I now confirm you completers. Mr. Chairman, upon the recommendation of the senior high school teachers, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation of Philippine School this school year 2019-2020, composed of 10 males and 7 females with a total of 17. They have satisfactorily completed the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education, Republic of the Philippines, in coordination with the International Schools Office, Ministry of Education, Sultanate of Oman, and by virtue of which, as principal of the school, I hereby petition that they be conferred their senior high school diploma. By virtue of the power vested in me as chairman of the board of trustees of Philippine School, Sultanate of Oman, I hereby confirm upon you the corresponding senior high school diploma with all the privileges and responsibilities thereto appertaining. I now confirm you graduates. After the many years of relentless efforts and dedication, graduates, it is about time to reward your commitment towards excellence. This is the perfect time to reap the fruits of your labor. Presenting the graduates Completers and Special Awardees Grade 6 Justice Under the supervision of Mrs. Zenaida A. Dumo
Grade 6 Righteous Under the Supervision of Mr. Carlos C. Libao Oh, 
Grade 10 Endurance under the supervision of Mr. Michael B. Hovis.
Grade 10 Perseverance under the supervision of Miss Angelica A. Ebalias. and Grade 12 Fidelity under the supervision of Mrs. Norlita C. Hovitz. Thank you. 
Congratulations, graduates, completers, and special awardees. It has been said that the quality of a person's life depends on his or her untainted commitment towards excellence, which results to the sweetest fruit of their success, awards. Indeed, you made your parents and the whole academic community proud of your achievements. Soar high, patience. An inspirational message from the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Philippine School Oman, Mr. Efren C. Adel. Congratulations, graduates. Today is a great day. Although we are in the middle of a situation wherein you cannot be with your friends to cherish and celebrate finishing elementary and high school, celebrating it with your family is enough for the meantime. This is the day you've been waiting for, since you entered kindergarten. For those in the senior high school, graduation is just the next step in your education. You're headed to a university, to the daunting task of preparing for the career you want to pursue. For some, it's waiting to get out of school and until the next time comes. Taking time to learn new hobbies or just simply enjoying the springtime of life. While there may be difficult times ahead of you, the pandemic that affects us now is just one of the big ones. Managing the adversities in life will be tough, but knowing how to cope with them and how each member of your family and community work hard together will help you pursue your dreams confidently. Transformation is the future that will direct your actions, and only the limitation of your imagination and courage constrains the possibilities. It is you who will design your own future and invent ways to realize it. The future holds no promises, but rather mysteries and surprises. What you've learned will prepare you for both. Congratulations and all the best for the future. said, Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. Here is Kyla Gail M. Doctor, Grade 12 awardee, with high honors for her words of gratitude. Anita Marjani once said, In the tapestry of life, 
We are all connected. Each one of us is a gift to those around us, helping each other be who we are, weaving a perfect picture together. To our principal, board of trustees, PTA officers, faculty and staff, parents, completers, and fellow graduates, a pleasant day to all. Our journey in Philippines Kulaman became a tapestry of our sweet triumph as students with their ever colorful threads from our unique stories and attributes, we have woven our very own masterpiece, our very own perfect picture that we have sewn together. Six years ago, when we first entered high school, we never knew what was ahead of us. We were somewhat jumbled messy threads, trying to form a pattern out of sheer luck. Well, you know what? We did it, seniors. We have went through so much. With all the great memories, in our hearts, it is the best time to express our gratitudes to the ones behind our success today. Above all, I'm beyond grateful for the divine favor from our Almighty God. All honor and glory belongs to Him. As I journey, holding His Bible passage has been a light to my path. In Psalms chapter 37, verse 4, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. And our living God, kept his promise. To our alma mater, the Philippine School of Man, our second home. Thank you for the fountain of knowledge and great privilege offered to hone our skills. We will assure you that we will continue to uphold the reputation and renounce its glory. To our teachers, led by our principal, Ms. Herminia Garcia, thank you for your unflagging support and guidance. You're all not only our mentors, but you have gone extra miles for us. We sow seeds of greatness, and I will never forget the inspiring words you fed me. You did not stop until I fanned into flame. To our dear parents, who diligently worked hard to support our education, you deserve most of our gratitude. Thank you for the love and for giving us the greatest gift of all, education, the best legacy a parent can pass to their child. To my parents, to my mom and dad, thank you for giving me such a wonderful life. You both fostered confidence and passion in my interests without boundaries, and I'm so lucky to have you both. To my fellow graduates, completers, and friends, all our hard work have paid off. So don't forget to pat yourself a job well done. We have successfully showcased our beautiful woven tapestry from our unique treads. So keep conquering great heights in your most impressive and colorful ways. And as we close this chapter and embark in another journey, let us never forget the true value of a Pishan. Hail, Pishan, hail. To my batchmates and completers, congratulations. Soar high, Pishans. This milestone is a time to imagine your future and the world to come. When you think of the road ahead, you may gain perspective by looking back to where you've been. The Pledge of Loyalty Our dear Philippine School, our warmest gratitude to you for molding our character in order to become persons laden with good values and attitudes. Thank, Thank you for your concern. Thank you for your devotion. Thank you for the many doors you have opened for us to make us grow with such gentleness. You have imbued in us the values of trust, justice, and love. We are gathered together today to pledge to you our trust from the teachings you have shared, our hopes and ideas you have raised. We vow to uphold them and not to forget you. Our beloved Alma Mater, we will come back, and surely we will find the pathway leading to you to be home with you once more. Dear graduates and completers, we hope that you fully understood the significance of the Pledge of Loyalty. This is your beacon of responsibility as students of this institution, Philippine School Oman. To uphold the values instilled to you by your dear alma mater, 
and to preserve her distinctive identity as a proud Filipino. The Philippine School Oman Board of Trustees, headed by the Chairman, Mr. Efren C. Adel. Our Embassy Representative, First Secretary and Consul, Ms. Bernadette A. Mendoza.
the Philippine School Oman faculty and staff. From the preschool and primary department, headed by Mrs. Marilyn R. Rabino. From the Intermediate Department, headed by Ms. Carmelita B. De Jesus. From the Junior High School Department, headed by Miss Maria Carolina P. Layog. From the Senior High School Department, headed by Mr. Michael B. Hoffes. The Philippine School Oman Administrative Staff The Philippine School Oman Non-Teaching Staff
the Philippine School Oman Service Staff. Dear graduates and completers, always remember, change is inevitable and growth is optional. How you respond to such change defines the bright future that lies ahead of you. Even in the midst of trials and tribulations, remember that your persistence will bring you to the most extraordinary moments of your lives, indeed a test of your leadership. Evidence of your commitment to excellence, Theodore Roosevelt said, Do what you can with what you have where you are. As you look to the future, you are reminded that today is not the end. Tomorrow is just the beginning. Once again, congratulations to all.